gastroenteritis causes four and a half million case uh, people to be sick every year in New Zealand. It's mostly about diarrhea, but there can be other symptoms like vomiting, headaches, stomach cramps, those types of things. But it results in lots of people losing days of work and days off school every year, so it costs the country millions of dollars a year. I'm looking to develop some tools to understand why 80% of people samples that go to the lab don't have a, a, a bug identified. We don't know what's causing them to be sick. We want to understand that better so that we can put in some interventions to stop as many people getting sick. The methods that are currently used don't detect um, a whole bunch of different possible bugs that could, could be causing people to be ill. So we're, I'm going to be looking at a particular group where we know some of them are bad bugs, but there's a whole bunch that we're not quite sure whether they are or whether they aren't. So we need to develop some tools to detect them so that we can then identify whether they are or they're not. My tools are about testing people's faecal samples. So they use the DNA to, to to look for uh, certain species of bacteria. I'm just in the finishing stages of designing my tools, but they're looking really, really promising. We have developed this type of tool for subtyping of bacteria, so helping to identify smaller and smaller groups to understand them better. Um, so we are hopeful that it will be very useful. It's cost effective and very quick. Uh, the current methods take days to get results. This will have a result within one day.